An alternative method is to flush the transmission cooler lines with cans of transmission flush. If you don't have a flush machine available, you must use this method. Prior to connecting the can of flush to the vehicle's cooler lines, you will need to blow compressed air through the lines to remove any heavy contaminants. To do this, take an air line with a blow gun attached and blow air through one end of each cooler line. Make sure to place a plastic container on the end of each cooler line to catch the heavy contaminants as they are blown out. When the line appears to be clear, reverse the procedure. The next step is to connect the transmission flush can to the lines. Depending on what kind of fitting you have on the end of the cooler line, you may need a piece of rubber hose to act as an adapter between the can of flush and the cooler line. Once the flush can is connected to the line, hold an empty gallon jug up to the other line and slowly press the nozzle down using about half the can. Be careful because this product can foam up quickly. If you are unable to send the flush through the lines, this indicates a severe blockage and the radiator must be replaced. If you are able to flush the line, continue until you have used about half a can of flush. Disconnect the flush can and blow air through the line to remove any remaining product. It is also possible to use the remaining compressed air in the can to blow the flush out of the lines. To do this, simply turn the can upside down and compress the nozzle. Then connect the can of flush to the opposite lines and repeat the procedure. When you clear the lines, you should no longer see any burnt fluid or contaminants. If you do, repeat the entire procedure with another can of flush. When this process is complete, you are ready to install your remanufactured transmission.